So let's begin. Today I'll be using our new model of Probo. This is Probo the Hand Pro model. Our bow recipe is on row B, row B, put your first dial in. This is for the center finger. Then on row C, you put it the next dial in, the dial or the finger right behind it. Then we're going to hop on over to rows uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. You'll put a finger in at 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 on row C and D, and you'll do that right and left. This is called bow on bow. What we'll be doing is you'll see we're going to make a bow right inside of another bow. And I just think it gives a wonderful effect. This is really to really highlight the traditional red bow. So let's begin. What you want to do whenever you put your ribbon on your spool holder, you want to put the red ribbon coming off on top. And then the ribbon that, that is just your highlight ribbon, that goes on the inside. Okay? So you're going to pinch. Y'all, this is the easiest, fastest way to put wire on the end of a piece of ribbon. <laughs> One, two. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our first ribbon, our red ribbon, and put it behind the outside dowel and then put the gold ribbon on the inside dowel. Yo, that's all there is to this. We're just going to be going over two sets of dowels at the same time. That way we'll have that effect of having the, a bow inside of another. Go around with your wire up and down. This is securing the ribbon to the hand. And now you have your center loop made, and we're ready to go on to finger two. Here we go. I rib into my finger. There's our pinch, and there is our beautiful twist. You can hold it there with your thumb. Now, what you're going to do, and I found this is the easiest way to do it, take your first ribbon, drop it. Take the seven, second ribbon, drop it. There you go. Guys, this is all there is to it. This is what it should look like. You're just dropping ribbon on two rows at the same time. And that's all it is. And this just gives a wonderful effect, I think, to the traditional red bow. So guys, that's all there is to it. Then it's, there's the pinch, there's the twist. You can hold it with your thumb, drop the red, Drop the gold. Don't put pull really tightly. You just want to pull enough just to have it go nice. You never want to just, just, there's no reason to just yank it down. Just let it go around the dowels. That's all. There we go. There's the pinch. There's the twist. And y'all, if you want to, you can, and I, I do this all the time. Sometimes it's, you want to take just that extra moment. I'm, I am, by doing this with my twist, I'm ensuring that I have a beautiful uh, start to my loop coming out from my twist, okay? And I can just kind of open that there at that, at that moment. And I do that all the time. So, let's take our red, and then this is a highlight. See how I just gently pull it around? Just gently. Finger here, pinch, twist, bring the bottom edge up. The reason why I'm bringing that bottom edge up is that that's keeping my ribbon from my hand from my, to my spool from twisting. You'll never have twisted ribbon again. To the outside, to the inside. Incredibly easy. Nothing to it. Finger here. Here's the pinch. There's the twist. See how I'm just going to open that there? Just take that extra moment. It'll just make your bow open, fluff. When you get to fluffing, that's just going to ensure that that starts, that starts fluffing beautifully. Here we go. Finger here. Pinch to my finger. There's the twist. 
There, I'm going to hold it with my thumb. See how, see my pinch and my twist? Real nice and tight. Open that up. Just take that extra moment. Kind of open that up. It's, your bow's going to fluff beautifully. There's the pinch. There's the... I'm sorry, I did pinch and twist already. Come on, Regina. Outside, red, inside, highlight. Okay, at this point, as you can see, I have let this go. Everything is staying in place. You can see how everything is just stacked beautifully right on top. Let me get this up close so you can see them, but you really see that. You see how every twist is exactly on top of the other? That's what's crucial. That you just want to make this really neat. And you see how my stack is just stacking out? See how big the stack is getting? People send me pictures and they think, oh my goodness, we're using a lot of ribbon here, okay? That's the reason why you want to use Provo. It would be extremely difficult to hold all of this in your hair, in your hand as you're making this, using all of this ribbon. This is exactly how this is supposed to look, okay? Now, I've let this go, and as you can see, everything is sitting there. But if you have pulled too hard uh, as you're making your bow, this has a tendency to want to rise up. So what you can do if you're, if you're pulling too hard and if that's rising up on you, if that's not staying in place, you can add a helping hand to just kind of control the stack. And all I'm doing to add the helping hand is I'm dropping it right through my center loop. I'm just dropping a piece of wire right through my center loop. And I'm going to pull it over. See how I'm pulling it over to the right? See, see that? And now, let's see. Let me get really close so you can see this. And now I'm just going to pull this to the center. And I'm just going to tighten this up. Just tighten it up just as tight as I possibly can. Go around one or two times. No more than that. Use 26 gauge wire. You don't want anything heavier than that because you just don't want to bulk this up with wire. Okay? So now, look how I've controlled my stack. Y'all, that's not going anywhere. Look how beautiful the stack is. Y'all, that is what's most important. Control the stack. Make a beautiful stack right on top of the other. Take that extra moment to kind of open Open your ribbon here whenever you're doing your pinch and twist, and that's going to ensure a beautiful, a beautiful loop whenever it opens. Okay, so let's get that little piece of wire out of my way. I'm going to stick it under there. And then here we go. Let's finish our bow. Finger here. I'm pinching and twisting to my finger. There's my twist. And you see how I'm just going to take that extra moment just to kind of, I'm, I'm opening that already. The first ribbon here. Y'all, there's absolutely nothing to this. Incredibly easy. Let Provo do all the work for you. All you're doing is winding ribbon around dowels. That's all there is to it. Okay? Follow right along with me, and your bow will just come out perfect. Finger here. It's just a pinch and a twist. And make put your thumb there and and start let's see that's we're starting to fluff already drop the first one drop the highlight guys this is all there is incredibly easy pull it pull it down okay let's go on let's make our last loop to my finger there's my pinch there's my twist. I'm twisting my ribbon. I'm taking that just that extra moment to start opening there. There you go. I'm going to just barely have enough ribbon here to my finger. There's my pinch. There's my twist. Hold my thumb there. See how I'm starting to open? That's just going to ensure this to just open beautifully. There's my outside. Here's my inside. And here's my pinch and twist. And as you can see, I'm going to run out of ribbon. I'm not going to have quite enough. No problem, because I'm just going to wire some more in to make another tail. There's my pinch. There's my twist. Okay? That's all there is to it. 
Okay, let's see. My little helping hand wire, let's use it. I'm going to go ahead and use it. Let's see. Let's get it from out. It's kind of tucked up under there. Here it is. A pinch and twist. Y'all, I always put my finger here. And I'm pushing. I'm pushing with the back of my finger. Okay, I'm pushing. I'm pushing on that ribbon. And I'm holding the top wire first. I'm coming behind my finger. Don't wire your finger to your, bill, to your bow. Come behind your finger and pull up and down. And y'all, you just can't. Look at that. You can tell I'm pulling. You just can't get any tighter than that. Okay? And that's going to ensure, that's going to help. You want this as tight as possible. And whenever this is really super tight, super tight, whenever you fluff your bow, it's just going to make those loops just pop. They're just going to be beautiful. So that's the first piece of wire. Let's take our second piece of wire. Don't just jerk it up because it'll knot. Okay? Make sure since you've gone on to the right, you have to come off to the left and do the same thing. Don't worry about this. Okay, just get that out of your way. I can tight I can tighten this bow up even more. See how I'm pulling? I'm pulling with this wire. I'm pushing with my hand. Let's get let's get our bottom wire off. Y'all, that's why I only go around once. That's all you need to do. I'm gonna put my finger here, hold this piece of piece of wire. I'm pushing, go behind your finger, up and down. You can't get any tighter than that. Go around. Take your extra piece of wire, your helping hand wire, kind of twist them together. That's it. All there is to it. It's done, y'all. That's all there is to it. Now, as you can see, I ran out of ribbon. Not a problem at all because I'm using Probo. At any point, I can stop and I can wire some more ribbon in. I'm going to open this. See how I'm going to open my two pieces of wire? And now I'm going to take my, my ribbon. I'm going to dovetail it. Let's see. I want a little bit longer tail than that one. It'll just look pretty that way. Okay. Let's dovetail this piece. So I'm making my two, my two tails. Okay, y'all. At any point, you can wire anything else that you want in, and let's just let's just pinch this, and now I'm just going to wire it in. Okay, sit it there, and wire that tail in, up and down, very tight. Go around. Now, ran out of ribbon. Doesn't matter at all. I can wire it in at any point, and there we go, y'all. This bow is finished. This, this is just going to be beautiful. I just love this look of this ribbon. Okay, it's done. Let's fluff. Thank you, Terry Marshall, for showing us that. Take that out first. <laughs> Y'all look at this bow. Bow on bow. That's the reason why I named it. You've made one bow right on top of the other. This ribbon is your highlight ribbon. It's just to enhance the look of your outside ribbon. Basic, traditional red bow. We're dressing it up. Okay, let's fluff. Let's get the bow maker out of the way. Let's get our fluff box. Fluff box is crucial, y'all. I never, ever fluff a bow without my fluff box. And the reason why is because my bow is now anchored down to something heavy. It's not going to move around on me. And I can use both hands at the same time. I'm not just holding this bow in one hand and just jerking on it with the other. I'm letting, again, y'all let your tools do the work for you. Okay, I'm just going to open this up a little bit. Look how pretty the tail is already. Okay, I just love this effect of this, this, this ribbon highlighting this outside one. I hope y'all enjoyed this bow as much as I do. So this is how with this particular bow you want to take and you want to pull this one down. I start from the bottom. Pull this one down. 
pulled, so that this was around finger six. This was around finger five. It's going to go up. The, the loop around finger four is going to stay here. We're going to pull, so that's six, five, four, three, and two. Okay, and you see how I'm just going to kind of put them in between? Okay, you see that look? So that's how you want to fluff this. And you see how I can do that because I have it attached to my fluff box. This was around finger six, five, four, three, two. Okay? Now, let's fluff this. Let's open this up and let's let our highlight ribbon peek out. Okay? Let's come up to this one. Let's round it out. Let's let it. Don't pull your second ribbon, your highlight ribbon, all the way out. You just want it to come out partially. But you really want to see how I'm just opening these and I make, I'm really rounding out these loops. This is what makes this so pretty. Is these are, it's, all, it's a very rounded loop. Okay? So there we go. Let's round this out. Let's let this peak. Let's let it peak out. Now this one. Pull it just a little. Kind of stick it back in there. Want to really round these loops. Y'all, sometimes just a red bow is just the thing. That's all we need is a beautiful red bow. I love to do this, and I know y'all have all seen it. You know the houses that just put a wreath on like every window across the front of the house? And they're not decorated. They just have a red bow. Um, so this is where you want to dress it up. You want to just dress up the traditional red bow. Well, here we are. And I think this would work beautifully for that application. Highlight that beautiful red bow. Okay. And then here we go. We're just going to let this peek out just a tad. Just a, just a little bit in the center loop. Y'all, is this incredibly easy? I think this is just incredibly easy and just, but it's just, I think it's just really a beautiful effect. And you want to just really poof that ribbon Give a real, you don't want to just pull these out. You want a nice, beautiful turn on these loops. Okay, and see how easy that was? And you know me. If y'all have watched me before, you know I just foo-foo and foo-foo. Let's pull this down and never know when to stop. Y'all, look at that. How easy. And there's half. So there's half. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that easy? But you see what, how, what a big... Um, roll the fluff box plays. I could not do this if I was just trying to do this in my hand. Okay, so, okay, Regina, stop. Go the other side. <laughs> I'll play with it all day. Okay, finger six, pull it down. Finger five, up. Okay, finger four, leave it in the center. Uh, this was six, five, four, three, and two. And have them go up. Okay. Now they're placed. That's just how the look that this is just the look that I like of this particular bow. Okay, I kind of smashed my my center loop there just a tad. Let's get that back straight. Okay, let's Let's, let's fluff these. Y'all, all you're doing is putting your fingers in here, go all the way to the center, run your finger in there, and just make a nice, pretty loop. Get them fat. You want these loops to be nice and fat and plump, really plumped out and pretty. Let's open up that highlight, that second ribbon. Let's go ahead and do this one. Since my hands are just right here, 
the fluff boxes play an, a crucial role. You can see how much I'm using both hands and placing everything. I can do that because my bow is anchored down. Beautiful, highlighted, traditional red bow. One more loop. Okay, let's see what we have here. I want to pull this down just a tad more over my tail. Like this to show here. There we go. I'll pull this one down just a little bit more. And now there is our beautiful red bow with our highlighted extra ribbon. Once you get this put on your wreath, you will probably, yeah, I'm sure you'll foo-foo it with just a little bit more and just kind of pull out your second ribbon, let it highlight. You know, if that's going to be up to you how much you want to pull it out. I have a pic, I'll have a picture, you'll see the picture of how I did it to start mine. I think I want to pull this down just a little bit more. You see, you can keep you know, just like I do, just keep foo-fooing if you want to. I think that's what I want. I want this down a little bit more. I said, once I get this on the wreath, I'll get I'll have, be able to get all of this to kind of stay in place. But I can just foo-foo and foo-foo and make these loops do what I want them to do. But I think I'll stop there. Let's hold it up again and have a look. Look at that, how pretty. I just love it. I love foo-foo in this one. I just love playing with it. So y'all, there it is. Incredibly easy. I hope y'all enjoy this, and I hope y'all will use this. Y'all, please let me know if you, if you like the highlighted traditional red bow. So incredibly easy. Pro bow the hand. You're dropping ribbon on two different rows at the same time, and this is the look you can achieve. This is one of the looks. I have, I have some more ideas. More ideas coming, but this is the first one. I hope y'all enjoy. Please let me know how y'all enjoy this. Thank y'all so, so very much. Bye for now.